So let's go ahead and save this. And usually I type all my own code, but I always have the habit of just dragging and dropping the CSS document here into the head. Let's go ahead and save. And if you're using Dreamweaver CS4 and up, I believe, you'll get this nice uh, thing here where it uh, shows link documents. So we can click over here and still see our page. So let's go ahead and set up CSS really quick for the elements we have. Um, by default, let's just do body and leave that empty. We'll do P, leave that empty. We'll do length and link hover. Leave that empty, and we'll do h1 the h tags. And um, I apologize if you don't have a good uh, grasp on CSS. You can go back and um, I'm actually in the process of editing a CSS series right now, and that should be up pretty shortly. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and define some rules here for our classes. We'll just set them up first, and then start doing the uh, the actual attributes. And I'm going to do some commenting but um, I'm going to rush the commenting part. All right, and anytime I'm gonna put in comic blocks, uh, you'll just kind of see them appear, uh, sort of not waste time. Um, and you can comment however you want, or if at all. I do recommend it, but uh, in the end it is up to you. So let's go ahead and do our wraps here. this and paste it and again I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of speed through some of this so I'm, I'm hoping you do have a grasp on CSS so let's go ahead and now we're gonna get just the uh, basic template so header a footer And let's toss the uh, content area in there too. And next we're going to set up our navigation rules. a bunch of copying and pasting here. Learning these uh, keyboard shortcuts is just, it's a necessity if you want to work efficiently. And just remember, uh, the quicker you can work and bypass menial parts of uh, the development process, the uh, quicker you get paid. So essentially the more money you can make. And you can generally charge more if you can get jobs done quicker than the next guy. So here we have our general rules set up and um, I've already discussed the goal here. But uh, let's go over it one more time. We've got our header. We've got our side navigation and our content area. Side navigation is going to run along the left side here in the content area or where the survey is going to load. It's going to come over here on the right. And then we have our footer. All the divs are wrapped in an overall wrap footer or wrap uh, div. And the two items here are also wrapped in order to kind of contain them as they flow next to each other. So we're going to do this CSS real, real fast. And if I'm going too fast for you, you know, just, you know, pause and rewind a little bit. Um, and like I said, this is just going to be basic CSS. We're not, we're not going to make this thing, you know, gorgeous or anything, but we are going to, you know, separate the areas and, and make it a little easy on the eyes. Okay, so the wrap... The overall wrap is going to, we're going to contain this survey 
this whole page within, we'll say, 900 pixels. And we're going to give a border, um, a border left, one pixel solid. And we'll make it a kind of medium gray. And we're going to copy this and paste it and do border right. So now we have a border on the right and the left. Now we do have our default margins that the uh, um, HTML body always has. So let's go ahead under the body here and cut the margin to zero pixels all the way around. Let's give the overall wrap a margin, however, of zero pixels and Say zero pixels, zero pixels on the bottom, and 30 pixels on the left to kind of bump it out a little bit. For the content area, we'll just uh, reaffirm that the width is going to be 900 pixels. Keep that as it is for now. The header, we're just going to change the background color. And we're just going to make it a light gray. There we go. And we're going to give it a border. I'm going to go ahead and copy this here and paste it. Get rid of the right and just say bottom. There you go. Now the content area, which is going to be on the right side of, uh, of the content wrap. I'm going to make the width of that 700 pixels. And we're going to give it a border on its left side. So let's go up here and grab this guy here. Toss her down there. And we're going to change the border type to dotted. There we go. And we need to float this to the right. Which still isn't, we're not getting the result we want yet because we need to come down to the side nav and do something. Um, footer, we'll just do a background color, we'll copy that. We'll make it just a little bit lighter, EF, EF, EF. And one of these days I might do a tutorial on color codes. As you get further into design and development, you start remembering some of these color codes. So. For the side nav, let's give it a width of 199, and the float will be left, and there you go, that's starting to come together. Um, for the footer, now let's go ahead and add the clear property, and we'll say clear both. What's it going to do is it's going to force it to come down past the floats. And just for aesthetics at this point, let's go ahead and give our content area a minimum height. Let's say 500 pixels just to give us a little bit of visual here. And let's also, uh, let's go ahead and, and style our navigation really quick. The first thing we're going to do is strip the margin and padding from the unloaded list tag. Copy and paste. Changes to padding. There you go. It's a little awkward at the moment. Let's uh, copy this. Paste it under the list. We'll paste it under the uh, link as well. And let's change the list style to um, none. There you go. And the link text decoration none. And on the link we're going to give a one pixel padding on top. And Zero, one pixel on the bottom, and we'll say 
I don't know, let's go four pixels on the left side. So we'll bump it out a little bit. Let's even change this to two here. Two on the top and two on the bottom. Now we're going to, these links aren't going to be too extremely fancy, but we'll make them look a little nicer uh, than the norm. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a border on the top or the bottom of each list item. And for now, we'll keep the color that way. So that'll separate our list items. And for the hover, let's go ahead and give a background color. And we'll give the background of the hover state a subtle gray. And we may need to do a little more formatting to that uh, in the future.